I'm the Genius Asian. Welcome to the Genius Family. Today we are going to show you how fumigation is done and some details about the process that you don't know. First, a brief summary. A tent is pieced together, a few fans are placed inside the house, two fans are attached with tubes so that poison gas can be injected, the tents are sealed, tear gas and poison gas are injected. After a day, then the poison gas is released, wait, then after another day, the tent is removed. Before you fumigate, you will receive detailed preparation instructions. It is probably a good idea to ask the company ahead of time exactly what each procedure is for and how it applies to your house. For example, our instructions said to pull back all ground cover, tan bark, rocks, vegetation, etc., and to cut back all plant life at least 12 inches from the structure, prevent being covered by the tarp and damaged, and to make sure to water the surrounding soil the morning of your fumigation day. So we did take considerable time to clear the rocks and other debris a foot from the house foundation, and we watered the ground that morning. However, when the company arrived, we found that they would not actually go so closely around the house. If the house shape is not completely square or rectangular, the tent will not necessarily drop down right along the foundation. See, this corner has a right angle and the tent will go along a diagonal from one corner to another. Because this deck is attached to the house, the tent also encloses the deck. The tent will also include a fence if there is a gate not too far from the house. If there is no gate, one board will be removed from the fence to allow the tent to be set up. Fumigation is also called tenting. You might imagine a camping tent popping up from the ground. In reality, the tent is built from top to bottom. It is not one big tent. Rather, there are many pieces of canvas made of plastic PVC coated material. The pieces are joined by clamps. At the bottom, there are weights to help seal the tent bottom and hold the tent in place. Each weight is 35 pounds and many of them are needed. Each? Yeah. You see oh that yeah, 35. Oh, you have this many. Uh -huh. This large tube will be used to release the gas. It has a fan to blow air vertically up so that people on ground level are not exposed to the concentrated poison gas. Currently, the tube is tied so that gas stays in the house to kill termites. It will be untied when it comes to the step of releasing the gas. Inside the house, all doors, drawers, cabinets, boxes are open so that gas pockets don't build up. A few fans will circulate air inside the house. A couple of fans are attached with long tubes so that poison gas can be injected from outside the house. This fan with a long tube blows to the first floor. The tube comes from the garage. Another fan with a long tube points toward the attic crawl space from the second floor. This tube comes through a window. Uh, today is the poison goes in for 24 hours and then tomorrow like then somebody's gonna come and open the window. Open the window? Open these vents and turn the tube on and suck the poison out. And then we're okay. ready and we're ready on the third day to come pick it up so we don't have to inhale poison no more. Oh, so the poison is only one day. It's one day, 24 hours, but the oh. process is three days because you gotta let it sit for 24 hours and then the next day somebody's gonna... Oh, the I see. Okay. That takes I thought hours. that it takes three days to, to oh, poison. To poison? No, no. One day was yeah, it enough? Oh. Yeah, one day is enough because it depends on how many hours you should put. Okay. You, you can put poison for 24 hours, okay. for 48 hours, oh, okay. or for five days. depends on what you want. Oh, okay. And so if you put it for 24 hours, you gotta put more poison. If you put it for long hours, you gotta put less. Oh, okay. But nobody wants to wait five days. Once the tent is sealed, tear gas is used to deter anyone from entering. This is actually a safety and security measure. It is not to make bugs cry. But rather, if someone tries to break into your house while it is tented, they will need to leave quickly due to the tear gas. After the tear gas, a weight scale is used to measure the weight of Viking gas to be used. 
Taking into account the current temperature and the size of the house, it is determined that 18 pounds of Vicane gas should be used. 18 pounds. 18 pounds. Yeah, we do the calculation already. A full tank has 125 pounds of liquefied gas. Currently, the gross weight is 227 pounds. We will stop the gas when the weight goes down to 209 pounds. Upon opening the valve of the gas tank, Viking gas is flowing into the two tubes at the same time. After gas is injected into the house, those two tubes just stay somewhere until the tent is removed. For dry wood termites, one day later, the gas will be released. If you have subterranean termites, it may take several days. The next day, the those windows on the front are opened so that the air can go in. This large tube is untied at the bottom so that vicane gas will be released upwards into the sky. The next day, the tent is removed. This is a vicane gas clearance monitor made by Spectros Instruments. It detects fumigant sulfuryl fluoride levels, which is vicane gas. Currently, it shows zero parts per million, or zero ppm. Now we go and open the refrigerator. It shows two ppm because the refrigerator was closed and fumigant was trapped inside. You see? Yeah. We need to leave the refrigerator open for at least 10 minutes. See, now the reading inside the fridge becomes zero ppm. Now it's zero. Yeah, it's zero. Yeah, okay. Hey, get it closer. Yes. Okay. okay. Very good. One more detail to know about. The utility company was contacted to turn off gas service to the home before the fumigation, and they will also need to come to turn the service back on. During the fumigation, the toxic gases will penetrate cracks, crevices, and pores in the wood to kill off any pests hiding inside. Water the soil up to 18 inches from the outer walls of your home. We were also told later that watering around shrubs and plants located adjacent to the structure can help protect them during the tenting process. That watering should be done the day before fumigation. Yeah. Sometimes the shape of the house is not as good as... So is the, the, the rock here is kind of sealed well? Yeah, because I took the... You see it? I cleared the gravel out. Oh, you did? Okay. I shoveled it out, okay. cleared it out, make sure it's a good seal or else yeah. it's not good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make sure everything's properly sealed. Yeah. <laughs> I did uh, the the one foot away. It didn't really yeah, help. Yeah, what you guys did is actually great too. Oh. The only problem is because the house was in too far in the department because people that. Yeah. So we gotta do what works best. All in the air. So what this does is get fresh air in and it comes out to the back. On the back? <clears throat> on the tube. You'll see what we're going to put that, uh, that thing there. That oh, thing. okay. Yeah, the tube, it sucks it out. Yeah. Air. Yeah, yeah. So, this just lets fresh air in. Oh, fresh air fresh in. Fresh air in. Okay, so you... Tomorrow somebody's going to come by around this time. Ah. Uh, and they're going to open these and uh, turn that one on. Or more. Process. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a three-step three process. Three steps. Yeah. Okay. And now we're covering it to put poison. Tomorrow somebody's gonna come and turn the vents on and open the windows. And the third day we come and take everything out. Okay. And with this thing here, everything is tied down so nothing leaks out. Okay, yeah, tie this. Tie, so the, you... tie the hole, make sure nothing leaks out. Oh, okay. And tomorrow will be untied. Yeah, or somebody the... will come, untie it. Okay. Turn the, the windows on like you said over there. Yeah. And uh, that'll, that'll start the ventilation process. Uh huh. So, so this is a ventilation. There's a process. only one, or there's a multiple. Depending on the size of the house. Okay. Yeah. If, if the house is bigger than 6K, well now you have to put two. Two. And then an extra window. Okay. So, so the bigger the house, the more vents to be. Do people use uh, other than Viking? You know, uh, there's other. some other stuff. They tried it before, side door and everything like that, but it's not the same, it's not good. It's yeah, Viking is the best. It's, yeah. It's terrible. So, everybody go back to Viking. Everybody go back to Viking. Okay. So, this is suck air out, has to be out 
higher, not the not the. Oh no, yeah, you can't. You gotta have it go up. Uh, go up. Yeah. At least so. Okay. But uh, cause yeah, I mean, if you shouldn't have poisoned out here and there's somebody walking by. So we should uh, poison the birds. <laughs> Yeah, this is a big guy. They are all strong. Okay. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.